Hi, it's me, Teacher Jean. In this lesson, you will learn about Finding the greatest common factor But before that, let's define first What is the greatest common factor? Or GCF GCF is the largest or highest number that divides evenly Means no remainder into each number in a given set of numbers. Here, we need to recall our previous lesson, which is prime factorization. The best strategy is to factor first each number into product of its prime. So we can use the two methods, factor tree and the ladder method. As you can see, the factor of 24 is shown using factor tree. We use the lines or branches going to the factors until the last will be both primes. For the latter method, we always start dividing any number or 24 with the smallest prime number which is 2 and continue the process until the last quotient will be a prime number. Then, encircle all the primes. List them in increasing order from smallest to largest and if you're going to check just simply multiply them one by one so we have 2 times 2 equals 4 4 times 2 equals 8 8 times 3 the product is 24 so in any method we used we come up or get the same result now for you to understand it further Let's have the first example. Find the greatest common factor of 18 and 27. Let's start with 18. 18 can be factored by 2 times 9. Encircle the prime 2. 9 can be factored by 3 times 3. And they are both primes. 18 is equal to 2 times 3 times 3. Next, we have 27. 27 can be factored by 9 times 3. Encircle the prime 3. 9 can be factored by 3 times 3. And they are both primes. So 27 is equal to 3 times 3 times 3. Now as you can see, we align the common there. Which is 3. Encircle it. Then another 3. So we have... 3 times 3 equals 9. So the greatest common factor of 18 and 27 is 9. Moving on to the next example, let's have find the greatest common factor of 36 and 48. Let's start with 36. 36 can be factored by 3 times 12. 3 is a prime, 12 can be factored by 2 times 6, 2 is a prime, 6 can be factored by 2 times 3, and they are both primes. So 36 is equal to 2 times 2 times 3 times 3. Next we have 48. 48 can be factored by 24 times 2. Encircle the prime 2. 24 can be factored by 12 times 2. Encircle the prime 2. 12 can be factored by 6 times 2. Encircle the prime 2. 6 can be factored by 2 times 3. And they are both primes. So 48 is equal to 2 times 2 times 2 times 2 times 3. So as you can see, we align the common factor. Encircle the common 2 times another 2 times 3. So 2 times 2 equals 4 times 3 equals 12. So the greatest common factor of 36 and 48 is 12. Next given is find the greatest common factor of 60 and 45. So let's have... 60. 60 can be factored by 2 times 30. Encircle the prime 2. 
30 can be factored by 2 times 15. And circle the prime 2, 15 can be factored by 3 times 5. And they are both primes. So 60 is equal to 2 times 2 times 3 times 5. Next, we have 45. 45 can be factored by 15 times 3. And circle the prime 3. And 15 can be factored by 5 times 3. And they are both primes. So 45 is equal to 3 times 3 times 5. So as you can see, we align the common factors. So that we can encircle the comma 3 times 5, we have 15. So the greatest common factor of 60 and 45 is 15. Next, we have find the greatest common factor of 126 and 90. Now, for bigger number, let's use the ladder method. I'm going to start dividing 126 and 90 with the smallest prime number, which is 2. 126 divided by 2, we get 63. 90 divided by 2, we get 45. 63 and 45 cannot be divided by 2. So let's proceed using 3. 63 divided by 3, we get 21. 45 divided by 3, we get 15. 21 and 15 cannot be divided by 2. So let's use again 3. 21 divided by 3, we get 7. 15 divided by 3, we get 5. 7 and 5 have no in common. They are what we call relatively prime. That means no common factor. Encircle the prime factors. So we have 2 times 3, 6 times 3, we have 18. And 18 is the greatest common factor of 126 and 90. Next, another bigger number, we have 280 and 630. Now, to find the greatest common factor of 280 and 630, I'm going to use again the ladder method. So I'm going to divide 280 and 630 with the smallest prime number, which is 2. 280 divided by 2, we get 140. 630 divided by 2, we get 315. 140 and 315 cannot be divided by 2, the same as 3. So we're going to proceed on 5. 140 divided by 5, we get 28. 315 divided by 5, we get 63. Next, 28 and 63 cannot be divided by 2, by 3, by 5. So we're going to proceed on 7. 28 divided by 7, we get 4. 63 divided by 7, we get 9. 4 and 9 have no in common and they are also called relatively prime means no common factor so encircle the prime factors so we have 2 times 5 equals 10 times 7 equals 70 so 70 is the greatest common factor of 280 and 630 next given three numbers Let's find the greatest common factor of 16, 64, and 96. So I'm going to use here the ladder method. So 16, 64, and 96 can be divided by 2. 16 divided by 2 equals 8. 64 divided by 2 equals 32. 96 divided by 2 equals 48. 8, 32, and 48 can be divided by 2. 
8 divided by 2, we have 4. 32 divided by 2, we have 16. 48 divided by 2, we have 24. 4, 16, and 24 can be divided by 2. 4 divided by 2, we have 2. 16 divided by 2, we have 8. 24 divided by 2, we have 12. 2, 8, and 12 can be divided by 2. 2 divided by 2 equals 1. 8 divided by 2 equals 4. 12 divided by 2 equals 6. 1 is common to them, but 1 is neither prime nor composite. 4 and 6 have in common, which is 2. So we're going to have the following prime factors. So we have 2 times 2 equals 4 times 2 equals 8 times 2 equals 16. So the greatest common factor of 16, 64, and 96 is 16. Now let's have the greatest common factor of the given expression x raised to n. So x is the base, n is the exponent. So n is the smallest or least exponent of x. Now, for you to understand further, let's have the given example. Find the greatest common factor of x squared and x to the fourth. So we have x squared can be factored by x times x. x to the fourth can be factored by x times x times x times x. So we're going to encircle the common x times another x. We have x squared. So as you can see, the smallest exponent of x is 2. So x squared is the greatest common factor of x squared and x to the fourth. Next, let's find the greatest common factor of mn squared o and m cubed n squared. So let's start with the first one, mn squared o. We just copy m, n squared can be factored by n times n, and we just copy o. m cubed can be factored as m times m times m. n squared can be factored by n times n. Now, as you can see, we align the common. In circle it, we have m times n times another n. So we, so we have m n squared and o is not common to them. So the smallest exponent of m is 1, no need to write it, and n is 2. So the greatest common factor of m n squared o and m cubed n squared is m n squared. Now it's your turn. Let's see if you learned something on my video lesson. Do it yourself. Find the greatest common factor or GCF of each pair of expressions. Number 1, 54 and 63. Number 2, 150 and 210. Number 3, 225 and 540. Number 4, x raised to 8, y cubed and x raised to 5, y raised to 5. Number 5, a, B raised to 4, C raised to 6, and B raised to 7, C cubed, D. Comment down below your answer. Happy learning! Thanks for watching. Please like and share. And don't forget to subscribe on my channel and click the bell button so that you will be notified whenever I'm going to upload a new one. Maraming salamat!